of the things that makes Broomfield a unique community is that we have a number of ponds in residential and open space areas that add a lot to the quality of life for our residents and visitors. Environmental Services helps to protect those assets by conducting a routine monitoring program for the ponds. This program involves routine monitoring of 23 different ponds within Broomfield. We go out on a regular basis to check these areas and we do water quality tests that involve laboratory tests, field monitoring tests, and a lot of field observations. We make notes of any odors, pond scum, trash, debris, the water color, the clarity. Um, take a look around, see what kind of waterfowl we see. This is all part of the work that Environmental Services does all throughout the growing season from March through October to help keep these ponds a beautiful asset for the Broomfield community. A typical day of sampling at the Broomfield Environmental Laboratory starts with getting the equipment ready. They are getting their equipment calibrated, ready to use. They make sure that they've got all of their bottles prepped so the bottles get washed and labeled appropriately. They make sure that they have their field monitoring sheets, which are unique for each different pond that we, we check. Then they have to load up all of the equipment and make sure that they've applied sunblock and mosquito repellent and hopefully have a hat with them as well. We are at Tom Frost Reservoir. We are looking for dissolved oxygen and pH levels in the water and we're also looking for nutrient levels. And the first thing I do is drop the anchor to test the depth. About 10 feet, a little over 10 feet deep. The second thing we usually do is, this is the secu disc. So this is what we use to test how deeply the light penetrates into the water body. You watch it until you can't see the black and white anymore, so you won't see the pattern any longer. Tom Frost is really one of our most popular ponds in Broomfield. Today there was a group of kids from one of the local daycare areas. This particular reservoir is very accessible. It's in an open space area, but it's very close to several subdivisions as well. And people like to just walk over here and go fish and also just enjoy the outdoor area. The birds come out. There's cormorants and pelicans and bald eagles who like to fish over here as well as the people. Everything was looking good and we have a little bit of underwater plant growth and some algae going on probably something we'll have to keep an eye on. We're just going to head over to our next pond, which is plaster, do the whole thing over again. Two liter HDPE bottle. Going to take a sample of the water right on the surface. Try and go a little bit below the very top. That way we don't get all the stuff that's floating on the top inside of our samples. First things we test for are ammonia and total phosphorus. After that, we're going to put it through another filter and get a, a TDS measurement, which is total dissolved solids. After that, I believe we do nitrite and orthophosphate. And then we'll do a TSS with no filters, which is total suspended solids. This is our Kemmerer. Uh, we use it on some of our deeper reservoirs, that way we can get a complete sample. This allows us to get just over two liters of water. Pretty much the only way we can get that sample short of diving in. The YSI is a multi-purpose probe. Those three different probes allow us to test the water's temperature, pH, dissolved oxygen, and conductivity. We check all the way down to the bottom because sometimes down at the bottom you're going to have zones of real low oxygen. So the pond can start to become anoxic on the bottom, which means there's no oxygen. And then if the pond is disturbed on the top and there's enough layer of no oxygen, it can flip and then you can have a fish kill. Conductivity is 1690, pH is 8.74. Right now we're at the Trails Pond and we're monitoring the water quality there. Teamwork is essential. Right now, one of our samplers is trying to maintain a certain location within the pond so that we get all of our measurements from the same reproducible spot every time. One of the things that we look for is signs of illegal dumping. And this might be as apparent as a change in water color 
or it might also cause something like uh, a sudden increase in the conductivity of the water. If this is the case, then we would alert stormwater control and have them investigate. We're at Josh's Pond today, one of the more beautiful ponds in our Broomfield Park and open space system. Water just seems to add a special beauty, gives an aesthetic quality to any park or open space. And as you can see with the mountain vistas and the hiking trails here at Josh's, it's just a wonderful setting. We have other ponds in Broomfield scattered throughout parks and open space areas, and they're all open to fishing. However, only two of the ponds that we have this pond here at Josh's and also Tom Frost Reservoir, which is at Midway and Lowell, are stocked by the Division of Wildlife on a regular basis. These ponds can all be fished with a, a state of Colorado issued fishing license and normal regulations, fishing regulations apply. Uh, as you can see, we have aeration systems in a lot of these ponds. The aeration systems are driven by compressors in a compressor house. The air is pumped underground into the pond. It oxygenates the water just makes for a, a better fish habitat and keeps the pond clean and uh, smelling good. We do have in Plaster Reservoir a unit called a Solar Bee which is a solar pond circulator and it basically serves the same purpose. It keeps water circulating and keeps it fresh. If we didn't have something like a Solar Bee out here to mix the water and make sure that it's pretty constant all the way down and that the dissolved oxygen in the water is high enough for the fish to stay alive we'd be having fish kills. The thing we like about the solar bee is that it's obviously powered by sun and has its own collecting panels and battery system. We don't have to hook it up to a, a power grid or run power to it, so uh, it's definitely a benefit. We are at what is called Pond 42 at the Anthem subdivision. It is a unique pond in that it has the only waterfall in the Broomfield Park system. Usually in the summertime, we do try to come out to sample during the morning when the temperature is a lot cooler. As we know, here in Colorado, the temperature heats up pretty quickly, and when you're out on a water body, the, you get a lot of reflected sunlight, and so you end up getting a very warm environment for the samplers. The ponds are a natural attractant for mosquitoes, which may carry West Nile virus. That's why Broomfield has an active monitoring and control program for mosquitoes every summer. Why do you not want to get bitten by a mosquito? What do you think would happen? You don't want to get West Nile, huh? We're at Aspen Creek Elementary School and we're here, we're celebrating National Trails Day and basically our purpose here is to inform and educate the residents of Broomfield about West Nile virus. It's really important to prevent mosquito growth here in Broomfield because it actually a uh, small percentage of the mosquitoes in Colorado actually have the West Nile virus as a carrier and we want to prevent that for our residents. A lot of times people have all these leaves that build up in their gutters and you'll get standing water and then you'll get this. So mosquitoes only thrive in water environments, any standing water that we have. We're trying to prevent people from having standing water in their pools, especially any of their water features and that's why today we're actually handing out fathead minnows and this actually eats the larva and the mosquitoes in the water and it prevents the population growth in Broomfield. I feel with the overall importance of our pond management practices and keeping the ponds beautiful in Broomfield it just adds aesthetics. It makes a wonderful setting for park users and open space users. People come and enjoy water, enjoy the surroundings. I think water adds just a special quality to to all our parks and open space settings. I think the ponds are a big part of Broomfield and the reservoirs are a big part of the neighborhoods and you know as you can see with all the kids out here fishing if we have a fish kill they don't have any fish to catch so it's really important that we're out here making sure that the water is clean for the fish and that important for recreation aesthetics wildlife. It's nice to know that people are actually taking an interest in how the city looks if you have an issue or complaints about a certain aspect of the city you can make a phone call write them a letter and someone will take notice of it send people out see what the issue is see if there's any feasible way to resolve it it's nice that People can have their kids out here and not have something that smells like a septic system, but they have pretty clear water from what you can tell. 
I enjoy doing this job a lot because it's a way of protecting the environmental health of Broomfield and it's a way of giving back to the community. It's nice to know that you're doing something that is for the enjoyment of all of the people and also just to know that the environment as a whole is benefiting from us keeping a safe habitat for everyone.